Good afternoon, and thank you for stepping into the Foul Playland. As always, I'm your Foul Player, reporting live from my living room couch. Um, and I'm making this video regarding the Giants selecting Darnay Holmes in the fourth round. He's the cornerback out of UCLA. Um, I just watched film of him at work maybe like a week and a half ago. And uh, personally, I think he's a bum. Uh, Darnay Holmes, um, the, I watched the game where he played against, um, Washington state and he got burned left and right. He has a uh, pretty good footwork. He has the ability to move around, but, um, he's constantly letting people get, um, behind them. I remember, um, specifically, uh, he got burned on one-on-one -on -one coverage and he was standing to his left on his extreme left, uh, had more than enough space, tried to pay the guy man, and there was a, a good amount of distance between them. The guy got right behind them, scored a touchdown. I saw people get behind them many times in that game. In fact, like three plays before that play, uh, somebody got right behind them. They could have scored a touchdown, but the quarterback um, didn't see it. But uh, I give this grade a D minus. Um, he has good footwork. Maybe they could coach him up. But we already had, I mean, at best, he's a slot corner. And um, we already have a slot corner on the roster. I think he's slated to be a special teams guy. Um, ironically, uh, right after that, they picked uh, Troy King, um, the cornerback uh, out of uh, Notre Dame. I thought there were probably seven better cornerbacks that were uh, available to the Giants at this pick. So um, hats off on the ground uh, to the Giants um, in a uh, disrespectful fashion. I think this pick sucks. Um, their draft grade is uh, slowly dissipating. And I mean, like, if they did want to get a cornerback, because I'm, I'm a... a I subscribe to the notion that you should stock up on cornerbacks as much as you could. Um, there were just better uh, corners available to them. Um, the dude's not a ball hawk. The dude doesn't look at where the quarterback is throwing most times. Uh, he doesn't have good perception. Um, I don't know. He has the physical tools, but... Actually, he doesn't have. I mean, he has physical feet, but he's 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 a small guy too. On top of that, if if uh, if he if Donald Holmes weighs more than 190 pounds, I'd be surprised. But to take him with the first overall with your first overall pick in the fourth round, when Tyler Beardage was still there, um, Curtis Weaver was still there. They still haven't addressed the uh, edge rusher. It was a. I think it's a terrible pick given the circumstances. But let me know what you guys think. With that, I'm out.